Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again Marvin and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin and this time we're going to be talking about the... Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is Mick and Marvin and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin and this time we're going to be talking about the blacksmith, alright? So the cheapest and the most resourceful job class of all and at the same time the most needed on a lot of battles, the blacksmith. Very versatile, a lot can deal a huge damage and at the same time support damage of other party members and self-sufficient job class. Alright, so the blacksmith. The blacksmith is known to be a little bit of a late game or an end game character but still would be very much useful and needed in all of the battles wherever you are in the game. May it be on the early parts, mid game, or late game. All right, so let's first talk about the two types. The first one is, of course, the main build MVP grinding. It's the build, cart revolution build, straightforward. So all of you have to do is put a lot of strength and that's it, all right? So he already adjusted. He just adjusted a little bit of agility and dexterity for obvious reasons. For the agility because the cooldown of the cart revolution or the skills of a blacksmith is going to be lessened by the higher agility it has so for the other build that is the agi auto build that is for just for the monster research purposes let's now go to the skills for the skills you only need one preset and it's going to be uh, used in all occasion so for the merchant, of course, you need Cart Revolution. That's just one level. This one is not Cart Revolution, but I think it's Cart Attack or something. Um, this one is Single Target. This one is the AOE. So you would most likely be using this one for grinding and for MVP, the Cart Revolution. All right. So you also need level 10 Cart Modification because you need to increase the storage space and the weight of your cart. At the same time, this enlarged weight would also be increasing the damage of your cart revolution by 50%. So you need that. Of course, you need discount. In my opinion, overcharge is somewhat um, negligible in this game because you already have the market or the trade market here in order for you to sell your garnered materials. So next is for the blacksmith. For the blacksmith, the only thing that you need here is, of course, weaponry research, weapon perfection, power thrust, and most probably adrenaline rush in some cases. So that is already 25 points. Health binding is also good. Hammer fall is also needed, but not that much. And one important thing here is the skin tampering for a huge survivability on your part. If you would want to open up another preset, I would be suggesting for you to focus on the converter crafting in the steel tempering or reticon research. Everything about crafting, that's the part. Let's now go to the gears. The gears are pretty much straightforward. You would want to, as much as possible, put in a lot of melee damage or melee attack or additional strength on your character. So, the same goes with this one. So, combat uniform, wool scarf, so that you could get that Mountain Rangers set together with the Tidal shoes. For your weapon, the Golden Hammer is going to be the one you would most likely want because of the damage every three attacks on your character. So, in my opinion, this one is good particularly for you because most likely you'll be grinding on places that has an undead monster. So this one would be better for that one. So the next one would be your accessories. Any accessory that would be adding attack to your character. For the headgear, anything that would be enhancing your physical damage, adding up more either strength or vitality or agility on your character and lastly something that would be adding 
additional movement speed because as compared to most of the melee characters in game you don't have anything to increase your movement speed now let's go to the vero score it's cart boost it increases the damage of your cart revolution based on the weight of your cart okay cart remodeling is also good because it also increases the damage on your cart revo anything that would be increasing the damage overall of your attacks would be good don't ever forget to increase the weight limit of your cart and at the same time fill it with as much load or weight as possible and the easiest way to get that is to to purchase steels the steels can be bought from Kafra, so it's going to be easier for you. So four of those already gives you 8,000 total weight, which is the maximum one. Then let's go for the grinding. For the grinding, it's still going to be the same, Thara Frog and Hydra, until you get lower than 100% chance of drops. Then you could also go for Pirate Skeleton. The people are leveling on Pirate Skeleton and spending their Freya time or their time 6 drops bonus on Thara Frog and Hydra. So go to Pirate Skeleton until level 52. After that, you can now proceed to Skeleton Worker so that you could actually, you know, farm, grind at the same time for experience and at the same time have a chance for the card drop. After that, you could go for Orc Zombies, Mantis, anything actually or goal because one of the most one of the things that are really good about the blacksmith is because he is very much flexible he has weapon perfection so that you could actually attack any size of the monster he has the ability to convert his weapon element by crafting weapon converters so he's actually pretty much flexible also and he can attack any element that he wants so it's really a very good thing on grinding on the grinding part of the blacksmith. All right. So that's it. More guides would be uploaded regarding the whitesmith. So tune in and thank you again to Octane for lending me his character. Thank you so much, sir. And that's it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you haven't liked this video, please do leave a like. Share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream, or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye!